now let us discuss about sipo shift register si means serial in po means parallel out in means input out means output the name itself specifies the meaning serial input so that means we have to apply the inputs in serial manner that is bit by bit whereas parallel output that means the shift register will produces the output in parallel next here this is the diagram for a 4 bit siso shift register so 4 bit means the size of the register is 4 bits in order to store each bit we require a flip flop so that's why totally four flip flops are taken here uh, this is d flip flop we know that d means data flip flop by using d flip flop we can store the data so that's why we are taking a uh, d flip flop here the inputs of the flip flop are d3 d2 d1 d0 whereas outputs of the flip flop are q3 so this is q3 output why because here we will get the output in parallel next this is q2 output next this is q1 output and this is q0 output here this is nothing but serial input the serial input will be applied to the first flip flop that is d3 whereas the outputs are q3 q2 q1 q0 are nothing but outputs here the inputs are serial so serial means what we have to do is the output of one flip flop will be connected as input to the next flip flop here the output of the first flip flop is q3 that q3 will be connected as input to the next flip flop that is d2 if you take this one so here output of this flip flop that is q1 will be connected as input to the next flip flop why because here we have to apply the inputs in serial manner one by one so serial manner means output of one flip flop will be supplied as input to the next flip flop now let's see with the help of an example how we can perform uh, the operations let uh, register contains 0101 the size of the register is 4 bits here we have three columns clock pulse sip means the serial input q3 q2 q1 q0 are nothing but outputs outputs of the flip flop initially the clock pulse is zero so no clock pulse is applied so initially serial input is also not applied Uh, initially the outputs of the flip flop are zero so zero 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 next here the first to zero this is nothing but most significant bit whereas this last bit is nothing but least significant bit so if we uh, so here uh, we can store the register we can store this content in the register like uh, uh, this flip flop should contain zero this flip flop contains 1 0 1 so that's why first we have to apply the least significant bit as the serial input why because the last flip flop should contain this least significant bit whereas the first flip flop should contain msb uh, lsb will be shifted one position uh, uh, bit by bit one position to the right Uh, here we are performing the shift to right operation shift to right operation so shift to right means each bit will be shifted one position to the right if we want we can also perform shift to left operation also if we want to perform shift to left operation then we have to pass serial input to the first flip flop next to connect q0 to the uh, connect q0 as the input to the d1 next connect q1 as input to the d2 uh, likewise we can perform the shift left operation but the most popular one is shift right okay so initially we have to perform 
वन सो इनिशियली द सीरियल इनपुट इज वन सो दिस इज फर्स्ट क्लॉक पल्स हियर द साइज ऑफ द रिजिस्टर इज फोर बिट्स सो टोटली फोर क्लॉक पल्स आर रिक्वाइड सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज द लिस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट वन सो फर्स्ट वी आर सप्लाइंग वन इज द सीरियल इनपुट सो नव विच ऑपरेशन वी आर परफॉर्मिंग शिफ्ट राइट ऑपरेशन शिफ्ट राइट ऑपरेशन ईच बीट विल बी शिफ्टेड वन पोजिशन टू द राइट सो दिस वन विल बी प्लेस डेट फर्स्ट पोजिशन दट इज क्यू थ्री सो हियर वॉट इज वन या दिस वन विल बी प्लेस डेट फर्स्ट पोजिशन Initially, this flip flop contains zero. This flip flop also contains zero. This flip flop also zero. This flip flop also zero. So here, what will happen is this zero will be shifted one position to the right. So here we have zero. Q three is zero. So that zero will be shifted one position to the right. Next, this zero will be shifted one position to the right. Next, this zero will be shifted one position to the right, and this zero will be discarded. Shift to right means what will happen is the rightmost bit will be discarded. Here the rightmost bit is zero, so zero will be discarded. So after first clock pulse, we will get this as the output. What is Q three value one, Q two value zero, Q one value zero, Q not value zero. So after clock pulse, this is the output. Next, let us apply second clock pulse. What is the next least significant bit zero? So now in now the serial input is zero. Now the serial input is zero. So this zero will be placed in the MSB position. So this is MSB Q3. Next we are performing the shift to right operation. Each bit of the register will be shifted one position to the right. So this one will be shifted one position to the right. This zero will be shifted one position to the right. This zero will be shifted one position to the right. And this zero will be discarded. Why? Because we are performing the shift right operation. So the rightmost bit will be discarded. So after the second clock pulse, this is the output. Q3 value is zero. Q2 value is one. Q1 value is zero. Q0 value is zero. Here the resistor totally contains four bits. So totally four clock pulses are required in order to load, in order to store the corresponding data. In the resistor. Next, in the third clock pulse, we have to apply next bit. That is one. So now the serial input is one. Next serial input is zero. So this is least significant bit one. Next zero one zero. So this zero is nothing but most significant bit. This one is nothing but least significant bit. So now what will happen? This one will be shifted here. Next. Each bit of the register will be shifted one position to the right. So zero will be shifted here, one will be shifted here, and zero will be shifted here, and this zero will be discarded. So after the third clock pulse, what is the output? One zero one zero is the output. Now let us apply the fourth clock pulse. So here, what is the MSB? Zero. So now serial input is zero. So this zero will be Shifted here, so shift to one one position to the right. Shift to zero one position to the right. Shift to one one position to the right. So this zero will be discarded. If we observe here, here what is the output? Zero one zero one. So what is Q three value? Zero. What is Q two value? One. What is Q not? What is Q one value? Zero. What is Q not value? One. So zero one zero one. So this is nothing but. the content of the register so here the point is n clock pulses are required in order to store the data in the register so in order to load or store the data in the register as well as in order to read the complete output in order to read the complete output so here if we take Yes, I yes. Who in the previous video we have seen? Yes, I yes. Who there for loading or storing data in the register, n clock pulses are required. Whereas for shifting, shifting means in order to re in order to read the complete output. Here, this is the complete output. In order to read that complete output, 
in order to do the shifting operation n minus 1 clock pulses are required so in siso totally 2 n minus 1 clock pulses are required but here with the help of n clock pulses we can load or store the data in the register as well as we can also read the complete output so in the fourth clock pulse only we are getting the complete output 0 1 0 1 so here how many clock pulses are required n clock pulses are required suppose if the register contains three bits then how many clock pulses are required three clock pulses are enough so which is the better approach siso or sipo sipo is the better approach why because we require only n clock pulses for loading storing and for reading the complete output so this is about sipo shift register